So what happens when you have a slider or a banner that you need to make for a website? And let's say the uh, dimensions are 1600 pixels wide, 600 pixels in height, and your client sends you, say, 900 by 700 pixel picture. What do you do? Because you got all this space here. What, 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 what's a good thing to do here? Using a gradient on a color background is a pretty nifty way to deal with this. So let's let's start. We'll go new. We'll make the 1600, and we'll make it 600 pixels in height, 16 in width. And we're going to go ahead and grab the paint bucket tool. Make sure our default colors on. Uh, press the key D if your default colors are not on. Black and white there. Let's go ahead and fill that in. So I'm going to use a, a black gradient for this. I'll go ahead and grab my picture from the other one I have open here. And bring it up in here. And drop it. And we'll go ahead and select both layers by shift click. So we can center them up. Oh, we need to control click the bottom layer because that's the one I want it to uh, Whoops. Shift click and control click. There we go. Because that's what I want it to line up to is that one right there. So, And there we go. Alright. Let's deselect that. And now we can, uh, we're going to add us a, we're going to click on our picture layer. And down here, we're going to add a layer mask. We're going to grab our gradient tool. And we're going to go up here, and I'm going to make sure that I have neutral uh, density selected, which is the default, one of the defaults that's in there. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and then I'm going to come to about the middle of the picture on the left side here. I'm going to hold down my shift key, and I'm going to drag it to the center. That way it keeps, keeps it straight. Let go. And not enough, so we're going to come back, hold down shift, shift click. Do it again, let go to click, and come back, hold down shift click again because I want to get rid of that hard edge. Let go to click, there. And we're going to come to the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to shift click, drag, come back, shift click, drag, shift click, drag. Now I'm using black on this just to give it a really intense contrast so you can see what's going on easy in this video but that's not necessarily probably the right color for this let me show you where this was used the site I, I built here the client sent the pictures in but the slider that we had need the pictures need to be 1600 pixels of course it's responsive it shrink down but uh if you'll notice you use that gradient technique on most of the pictures because they just weren't the right size and you can't stretch a picture without really distorting it really bad so on some of them that's what we did we used the gradient technique for that and that's all there is to getting your images your pictures to fit into your sliders or your banner when they're not wide enough for more video tutorials visit skeeter z71.com Photoshop, Illustrator, Dreamweaver, HTML, CSS, a whole lot more. You have a good day.